the damage isn't too bad. He's kind of catching up. One, two, three, four, five. The little dragons. Look at them. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Calamity Summoner only playthrough. Now, I got some news to lay on you here. The world that we're in is sort of corrupt. There's a little corruption going on. So that means that there's a lot of things in the world that naturally generated and it's kind of just messed up. One of the main thing from that generation that is messed up that we might need in the future is chess. Now, we've seen it when we went to the abyss. There was chess that I could open the shadow chests were fine probably because they were locked but the regular chests that were here they wouldn't let me open them and I could break them and that's it now that's happened to every single calamity chest that isn't locked a locked chest and on top of that when we also updated the calamity mod that one time and it like made everything disappears we got things disappearing if we go up here uh there's a couple pink things as we can see the uh, walls i replaced myself crafted a bunch of them because all these walls were gone uh and also speak about things that are gone my armor all my armor that i displayed here is gone so it's very very fun so yeah there's a lot of corrupt things in this world and we might need some of those chests in the future and a bunch of other things so this is what's gonna happen we're gonna fight the wall of flesh this episode that's the goal is still to fight the wall of flesh i'm gonna make an insanely long hell bridge uh, i'm probably gonna use louis af K to help me make it some sort of platform builder here we go arena platform builder and uh i'm just gonna make a hell bridge pretty much from one side to the other just to guarantee that we beat the wall of flesh but we're gonna beat the wall of flesh and then i'm gonna delete the world well not delete the world i'm gonna move all the items to a new world because then we're gonna fight every single boss again on a new world and i'll probably do that during a live stream so stay tuned for that follow my twitch twitch.tv slash gamers 101 so that's what's happening with this world and aka the reason i haven't really been posting too much of the calamity summoner is because uh, i came to this problem there was also a problem where we had so much of the map discovered and now look the map just disappeared one time so i'm having a lot of problems with this just modded uh, terraria world but uh we're gonna reset the world that's that's what's happening if the episodes don't start coming out for a while you know the reason but yeah this episode there isn't much to do we already beat the old one's army once so i bought a ballista rod and we're already able to summon stuff because the ballista rod might be our go-to just like how it was our go-to in the 1.4 master mode summoner playthrough so that's it that's legit all that's gonna happen this episode it's just gonna be me off camera making the arena uh, i have to make it out of platforms because if we can't do the minecart strategy with summons well we can't do it with the century yeah that's what's gonna happen let's get to it can't wait to start grinding all of this all right something of interest actually popped up we're in the what is this brimstone cragstone something like that uh, another biome added in by calamity here the chest work here hooray for that are these fucking vanilla chests though what the hell is there any goodies to be had here oh i gotta get burnt by lava to get this one gonna pop an obsidian skin then real quick and jump in here okay wasn't really worth it i mean i guess i could sell these things so might as well take it but there you go that's like this is like the only other interesting thing i'm probably gonna see while doing this i'm actually doing pretty good like the process is pretty fast with this platform arena maybe i'll just do half a side i'm gonna be honest i accidentally spawned in the wall of flesh uh, via one of my summons killing of a voodoo demon and i almost killed it before i logged out of the world and that was like only this much of the arena was built like this much <laughs> so i don't think i'm gonna need too much unless that was just like a fluke i don't think we're gonna need too much all right let's do it no questions asked i'm ready do we have everything make sure we got everything everyone let's do it baby all right this shouldn't be too bad i don't know if i should even like target anything like if i let them as you can see if i let them just do what they're doing the damage isn't too bad but uh here i'll, I'll target target like the top eye or something i don't know target the top eye let the boys rip let them attack everything as you can see here when i was doing the platform arena there was like a bubble thing that i could have did with it i didn't have any honey so i just just stopped doing it i never put anything in it either whatever it, it doesn't matter as you can see this is 30 times easier than I thought it was going to be. I, as I expected, I honestly, it's modded Terraria, bro. Usually vanilla stuff is easy as hell in modded Terraria, unless you're literally playing something that makes the vanilla stuff harder. He's kind of catching up. Hey, can we kill him, though? There we go. 
my, my fucking fish were falling behind. They couldn't catch up to him. But yeah, whoever that dude was who was like spamming like calamity wall of flesh summoner only is impossible. I think I think you just suck, bro. I'm sorry to say. And that's coming from somebody who isn't even that good at Terry. Let's go ahead and grab our loot here and we're heading up top. What do we get? We got the hermit box. What the fuck is this? Uh, we got the underworld and we got the wall of flesh. Favor this item to prevent voodoo demons from dropping voodoo dolls. Favor this item to gain increased item grab range. That's not bad. That is not bad. My inventory is getting pretty damn full, so I don't know. We'll see if I favor that. We got the charm of luck. This thing is actually really good. While this is in your inventory, you have a better chance of getting better reforges. Yes, sir. We love to see that. And I'm pretty sure if we upgrade it, it gets even crazier. Yeah, look at this. Uh, can we upgrade it again after that? Nah, this is the highest upgrade, but we don't get that upgrade for a while, as you can see. But what did the Wall of Flesh itself drop? It's got the Demon Trophy here. Boost spawn rate by 1.25 times. Effects cannot be reversed. We'll hold on to that. And then we got the Demon Heart. Boom, we get an extra slot, baby. And of course, we didn't get the Summoner Emblem. Because why would we get the Summoner Emblem? But we do have mods installed. I might be able to just straight up turn this into a Summoner Emblem. Maybe? Oh, here we go. Boss Loot Swapping Token. Easy. Easy. I know where to get those. Talk to my boy over here, Mobart. Uh, and he sells that. So you just buy one. And then we throw it in here. And we should be able to make a summoner emblem. Yes, sir. There's our summoner emblem. I'll take it. But yeah. I don't know. I don't really want to do anything since we got to transfer over to the other world. So this episode might be super short. I feel like I should find something to do, but what? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should spend like the rest of this episode trying to get our hands on some uh, early hard mode summons. Starting with the first one that I know we can get. Let's try and get this one. The caustic staff. We just need uh, some flasks, deathweed, souls of night, and then 10 evil bars. Uh, so I guess, damn, look how fast this area became corrupted i need to get actually no it doesn't matter i was gonna say i need to get some sunflowers down or something it doesn't matter literally doesn't we're not gonna be in this world that long but in the meantime let let us go break some demon altars do, do i need to breathe that no way i don't need to do that either i just need souls of night this is how we get our souls of night i hate the corruption bro the underground desert corruption is terrible it's because of one enemy you can tell what enemy it is it's the damn dins bro or the these desert spirits. I don't know why I call them a din. They're pre pretty much the same thing. These dudes are fucking annoying. They summon these projectiles that explode through the wall. But anyways, we gotta get we gotta get deep down here. We gotta get deep. Still not getting souls at night. There's a giant clam somewhere. Maybe this isn't the best area for this. The fuck? I'm getting attacked by sea serpents now, bro. This place is getting dangerous. I'm about to die. Yee yee, don't touch me, bro. Oh damn. Give me a book. Imagine you kill a sea serpent and then they give you a fucking book. What am I supposed to do with that? Read? All right, maybe this isn't the go-to area because I'm not getting anything. All right, I got my 10 souls a night. Hopefully you can't hear the people lawn mowing. Uh, well, now that I pointed it out, you probably would hear more. But we got our 10 souls a night. Now I need to talk to the witch doctor. There's actually a couple things I need from the witch doctor. The lawn mowing is getting a lot louder. All right, witch doctor. I need things from you. I'm pretty sure it was five of any flasks. Oh God, when do they sell flasks? Do I make flasks? I make flasks. Okay, good. I was about to say, wait, don't I have this? I might have an imbuing station already, so I might have just wasted money on that. But there you go. There's that. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did indeed have a flask station already. So we need five flasks. It doesn't matter what flasks, I hope. Okay caustic can we make it no not yet okay what am i missing 10 no oh my god it, no, it says any evil flash oh evil flash see that makes more sense it's, go it's all good i didn't waste that much making that curse flame flash oh my god we just have enough thank god we can now make the caustic staff this thing better be amazing they use the darkest red text they can use so they made it as hard to read as possible but let's see what this thing looks like one two three four five the little dragons look at them let's see them in action do i have anything i can kill let us kill lepus lepus is always fun to kill all right boys have your way with Lepus. Not like that, though. You know what I mean. They're not doing too bad. They shoot projectiles, which I, I think some of the shoot projectiles are usually better than ones that don't. But look at that. That was a nice and fast fight there. We actually got different loot from Lepus for once. Nice. Uh, just one piece of different loot. But yeah, I think we should end the episode off on this. I don't want to really do anything else in this world if I'm going to just get rid of it. 
for a new world twitch.tv slash gamers on one catch me there follow because we will be streaming pretty much killing every single boss in the new world uh maybe not every single boss maybe i'll start the world up and get building and stuff and kill a couple bosses ahead of time but you know what i mean i'll see you guys there thank you for watching the episode Bye bye